Black migrants in Tunisia are facing a massive spike in hate crime, and thousands of them want to leave the country for Europe. Here is what you need to know. When we go to the um, government hospitals, they will not attend to us because we are blacks. Tunisia's President Qais Saeed describes sub-Saharan migrants as a threat to national identity and a source of violence and crime in the country. Since his statement, racialized attacks have become more and more common. We have really have a lot of challenges. We have a lot of people, maybe we could visit them, you see them, those who we attacked because the pronouncement by the president of Tunisia has led uh, to some kind of instigation. There's an aggression from the locals, the youths. Gestas Chayadakobi broke both of his legs escaping a group of Tunisian teenagers. I'm not the only one. Where we jump down, they use stick, then we are flogging us. Mon ami, we should go back to our country, you know, that kind of thing. They are speaking the Arab. The escalation and racial tension has sparked mass protests, decrying the state-endorsed violence. Demonstrators are calling for the government to put out a strong message of support for foreign immigrants and give clear instructions to security forces to protect them. Instead, there's been a rise in arrests. Tunisia straddles the Mediterranean Sea, and migrants are making the dangerous crossing from there into Europe. Dozens are drowning before they make it, and those that do are facing stringent anti-migrant policies on arrival. And in Tunisia's capital, many are parked outside of embassies for their protection, praying for relocation. I decided to say, okay, since this is what they are doing to us, let's just leave everything. God will make you to deliver safely. But the question is, where will they go? <laughs>